Hello, Attract Magazine. My name is Avi Bernard. I'm 31 years old. My hometown is in Venice, you know, one of the few and the proud people local to LA. I went to Humboldt State University and I am a radio personality, TV personality, and actor. I actually saw an ad in the newspaper, this is how long ago this was, in the classifieds that said radio announcers needed no experience necessary. So I was like, that sounds interesting. And little did I know it was an internet radio station and you had to like pay for your airtime. So, but they sell you on the fact that you can sell your own commercial space, but you can't sell a commercial space to, on a show that no one listens to. And I did that and then around that time, I met someone at 102.3 FM, KJLH, and I asked her if I could intern for her on her show. Her name is Dominic Primo. And so I was doing this internship and I was also interning on the Steve Harvey show. So I was there from like 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. for free. And then I was paying like, it was like $30 a week, but I was still paying to be on this internet radio station just to get experience. And so there's all this time and money that it seems like it's going out, you know, but really you're building yourself and your, your abilities and your confidence and your network. So I eventually played one of my tapes from the internet radio station for the program director at 102.3 and he liked it and so he gave me a shot to just not even to talk but to run the control board on the overnight shift you know from midnight to 4 30 a.m when the fewest people are listening of course and so i did that i did a good job and eventually they let me talk on the microphone and when you talk about like nervousness that first time that was man I felt like I had like cerebral palsy. I couldn't stop shaking. And so when I was at the radio station, the program director uh, just in talking one day, he found out that I was in the sports. And so we started talking about it. And then so I started doing a sports segment um, on Dominique Duprima's show on the front page once a week. And then I started doing one on the Steve Harvey show. And then I, that's how I met Gail because I was doing that sports stuff. And so to me, it was just another avenue especially playing my strengths. And so I knew that I could talk about sports all day. And I, you know, I, sometimes I have the ability to sound like I'm not ghetto. Um, and so I use that ability when I'm on camera or on the radio sometimes. And uh, I just knew that I could parlay that into something. And so uh, I did. From there, I, um, I met Dale Anderson, reporter, KTLA TV Channel 5. And she knew that I did sports on the radio, and so she was like, help me with uh, one of my segments. I was like, okay. It turns out she wanted me to, to like, talk about sports on TV. And so I did, and then it went well, and so they kept asking me to come back. And really, I, I started all of it because I knew I wanted to act, and all that stuff to me helps each other out when you're comfortable in front of a camera, in front of a microphone. So all that started just from an internship. I've done some acting too. I, I was on a show called True Detective on HBO, uh, a show called Murder in the First on TNT, and also I'm going to be on a show on CBS called Scorpion. The first time I, was, I worked on, a, on like a major TV show, which would have been True Detective on HBO, like when you're on set on that kind of production and like you actually have lines. You know, because I, because years and years ago I did extra work. But when you're one of the principals, then it's completely different. They treat you like royalty. My first time experiencing that was was really just special. Well, I'm actually putting together a, a movie right now. I'm really excited about it. It's it's going to be an adaptation from a play, and you know, I'm not really at liberty to discuss it in detail at the moment. But that's the main thing I'm working on right now. And then you never know because like, I'm always like going out for different things and going on different auditions and stuff. So the next big thing could be happening. Like I may have auditioned for it yesterday. I don't know, I just believe that the next big thing is, is always here right now, even if I don't know what it is. Whatever you wanna do, you have to just go get it. It's not gonna go get itself and you have to sacrifice. I spent so many days so like incredibly broke just trying to do what I wanted to do. And there were times along the way when I could have taken jobs 
that would have completely just derailed what I was doing, but I would have had financial security. And it's hard to, to pass that up when you're struggling and you don't have enough money to take a girl out or you know you have just to you have to ask mom for help with the rent. You have to be willing to go through that though. Because to live the exact life that you want to live, very few people get to experience that. Most people settle for something or they do what they feel like they have to do just to survive. And if you're trying to achieve something, just be ready to be really uncomfortable for a long time. But through it all, like you can do all the work, but if you don't have the belief in it, none of that work will matter. So just go get it and just believe in it, no matter what anyone else says or does. Attract Magazine is awesome. <laughs>